Did you know every bad note is surrounded by good notes? Really? How does that work? When most people hit a bad note, they freak out and run away from it. They don't have to. You should use that bad note. It actually gives you better information than a good note. It's kind of weird. Uh, I might be a little dense here. Can you give me an example? Like actually play something? Okay, so let's say you're trying to play along with something. I'll pick something from my Spotify account. That way I don't have any copyright issues. Uh, and I'm just gonna grab a random note. Any note, any note. Let's see. And we almost hope it's a bad note. Here we go. That sounds bad. I got lucky. That sounds bad. So what I'm telling you is these two notes, the ones next door to it, you know, half a fret away, or half a step away, one fret away. So my theory, what I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to convince you, uh, and trust me, I've tested it, is every bad note, that bad note means these two are good notes. So instead of running away from that note, grab the ones adjacent to it. So check it out. So now those two are good. The next step is, is the next good note right there or right there? It's gotta be one or the other. Let's check it out. That sounds bad. That's the right one. So now uh, I call this a bridge set because the crowded notes are on the bridge side of the guitar and there's always two of them. The, the, now that we have this shape, the next one will either be above or below and it would be right here but there's a funny tuning between the G and the B string, these two strings, and that means there's kind of like a crack in the mirror, sort of like a San Andreas fault in the pattern that has shifted the whole thing this way. So it'll either be like this, or one or the other. It's gotta be one or the other. Let's check it out. Yeah, that one. And, and just, to, just to verify it, I'm gonna play the one up here, just so that you hear that that note right there is probably going to sound awkward. It's actually this. So the two bridge sets is what I call them, are down here. And if you know your rules, the rules according to, uh, I just have names for these shapes. Uh, the rules are essentially the major scale. But once you know this, you know the whole pattern, the entire neck, if you understand the rules. Uh, I understand the rules and that would tell me that the next shapes are above like this. I call those headsets. They're always above, if you call this above, the two bridge sets. So now I've got... And yeah, let's try it out. And that means... The next shape, which is the only one left, is a triple. There you go, see? Every bad note is surrounded by good notes. Uh, oh my gosh, that worked. But what if I still don't believe you? I need more convincing. Let's try it again, just in case you don't believe me. Let's try it. That's a good note. Let's, we want a bad note. That's bad. So, that means we got our two good notes. The next one is either here or there. Not that one. There it is. I'm moving ahead of myself. I know once I have this shape, there's another one below it or above it. Looks like above and below. That means, since I know the rules, the two bridge sets are above that, followed by a headset. There you go, so fast. I call that pattern detective. You should learn it.